Hello friends, once again welcome back to PISPtrainings.com. This is my second video in creating financial report using our series. In our previous video, we have already extracted data from the database and stored in .csv format. So in this report as well, I'm going to use the same data. And first of all, let's have a look at the data, how the data looks like. That's the data and which contains the records and columns, columns like scenario, year, period, and product, customer, cash flow amount, and so on. So what exactly my requirement for this report is that I would like to prepare a bar chart along with the line chart which represents the net sales versus net profit in different regions. So as you can see here, we have got regions as well as we have uh, financial elements. We have net profit, net sales and profit margin. And we have five different regions in this data like England, Italy, Stamford, Orland. So we are going to use the same data and uh, we would like to represent it in the form of a bar chart along with the line chart. So the calculation we are going to perform on this amount column. This amount, basically we can call it as an expenditure as well. So let's see how to prepare the similar kind of chart or how to create a report, similar kind of report through R programming. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start my R studio. I launch my R studio. And close this and I'm going to create a new script editor. As I told you in previous video as well, the best thing is to use the script, the R script to write the codes so that you can save your script as well for future purpose, future use. So first of all, I include the library Excel SX because we are going to read the data. So I just select it and run it. It will load the required packages. Then I load the data in a variable read dot csv and read the data from financial data dot csv the data will be loaded we can have a look for the data as well so that's the data which contains a number of records and the columns we can clear this console as well if if it's required whenever it is required we can clear it now my next thing is I would like to apply a aggregation based on uh, region wise as well as on financial data wise so I create one aggregate data element and apply aggregate function and here data one dollar I want to apply aggregation on amount by is equal to list region this will be the uh, provide a column name data one dollar region comma financial for finance one I write fin one equal to data one dollar financial element so this will uh, apply the grouping or aggregate based on the region as well as financial elements and I would like to create means the I would like to apply the sum for that so the data has stored so we can have a look for the data first of all AGG data AGG data and when I execute it you can see the calculations have been done so for England so the total net profit is this for Italy total net profits total net profit for Stamford for net profit for Sunnywell, for Orlando, then net sales for England and so on. So as you can see here, we have got three financial elements. The aggregation will be done based on all the three financial elements as well as region. But in this chart, I'm, I just wanted to use 
the net sales and net profit. So I'm not going to extract the net, oh sorry, profit margin. So I write net profit, or let's say net profit, and for so for that we use here subset subset and from we want to pull the data from agg data so subset agg data dot fina1 fina1 is the column name so you can see we have this column name fina1 and it will fina1 equal to equal net profit and let's you see if I print net profit so we can see the data which which displays only net profit in similar way I want to extract for net sales as well so for here I write net sales and this should be net sales and when I run it we have got net sales. You can see we have got net profit and net sales in two different data sets. Now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to place the net profit and net sales. So as you can see here in this graph, my net profit, my net sales, I have been placed in bar graph in the form of bar and net profit I have represent in the form of line. So for that, first of all, I create one is equal to so this is to create basically a chart and bar so i run it and then i create one more data variable x bar plot so net sales the variable which we have created and from net sales we want to use this x column which contains the numeric values so dollar x divided by 1000 because they are too big so I just wanted to make them small so I divide them 1000 and excess is equal to I don't want to set any excess for the same false main is equal to net sales versus net profit and uh, also I want to set the limit as well so I write here y limit is equal to c 0 comma 500 and so let me execute this from this so you can see the bar plot has been the bar has been placed so basically it contains the net sales next I want to apply color as well so here I write I create uh, I use a variable here comma and I write color is equal to rainbow tint and when we run it we can see the bars in different colors. Next thing I create here one more element ATS C and it will create a sequence from 0 to 500 comma 50 comma 500 so this will create a new sequence it is uh, this should be c not s my god right? then i'll set par new is equal to true so it will uh, we are passing a new parameter into this chart i want to pass a new parameter into the same bar plot then i use here plot to plot a line so x is set to x minus 100 comma y is equal to net profit dollar x comma type is equal to b and when i run it you can see it has been placed so the values are placed but the x's are not that good x's are uh, too large so first of all I set 
axis is equal to false and now when I execute it and also the I want to mark it in red color so I use your color is equal to red it will display red. so don't worry about that when we execute them together we'll get the chart but now you can see there are no axis there is no x axis and no y axis and also these are coming so I'll set here uh, x label is equal to blank and y label is equal to blank in similar way here as well I set X label and Y label set to false so I write here X label is equal to blank and Y label is equal to blank and we'll be going to set the labels later on so when I when I run it again we have got the chart without any X label and Y label now the next thing we need to do is we need to place the labels so to add the labels I write axis and two okay before adding the axis on the y y axis I want to add the labels on the x axis so I pass here axis one comma at is equal to x comma labels is equal to net sales dollar region and the positions equal to Z and if I run it again you can see we have got the so I change this position I just add this axis before uh, I just add this axis before adding this plot and here I'm going to add a new axis for Y so I write excess and two comma at is equal to C pretty net profit dollar X comma and because I don't know what's the range for Y axis so I write here the maximum it should be net profit so whatever is the maximum for net profit X it will uh, provide the access to that and comma last and now when we execute so when I run it you can see the chart is prepared along with the x axis labels on x axis and labels on y axis as well now what we are going to do is we are going to add the labels on I want to add a label on X axis as well as on Y axis so here on axis I give X label is equal to region and on Y label I give amount in Millions. and now when we execute them again when we run their function we have on x axis now as you can see here if I zoom it uh, even it's very difficult to read this because the values are coming the values are overlapping each other so what we can do is we can change the x axis or we can change the axis or instead of setting this value points here we can set them on another side so that we can see the uh, the labels uh, the label can be visible easily so instead of number two I set this to number four axis and you can see it has been changed the position has been changed and now the bar along with the line chart has been placed successfully and you can see we are getting the proper labels as well now my next target is I want to add a box just around this so I simple right here box and now if I run it again the whole code you can see the box has been placed and when I zoom it you can see a proper box is coming along with the axis so these are the values on X well axis and as well as we have this.
In similar way, if you want to add data points, so we can add the data points as we have placed in our previous chart as well. In similar way, we can add the data points on these uh, on net profit as well. So that's that's how we can prepare a net sales versus net profit chart in R programming based on the data extracted from the data set. That's all in this video. If you have any queries, you can get back to us on www.bisptrainings.com. You can subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos on R programming, R data visualization. Till then, have a nice day. Goodbye.